and today we're going to take a look at the 2017 thriller movie, called Infidelity in Suburbia. The starting scene pulls off where we see a couple making out passionately. As the guy throws the woman on the bed, they suddenly get interrupted by the woman's son. The kid shows a dead mouse and smiles. His mother screams so his stepdad gets up and goes to help the kid. Up next, the camera shifts to a boatyard where a family of three is setting up their boat. The woman, named Laura, is talking about renovating her kitchen but her husband is denying the idea. Moreover, she talks to her son Jamie and orders him to be careful with the knife. As they're talking, her husband gets a call and he walks away. Meanwhile, another man is constantly watching Laura. She starts walking along while taking the stuff in her cart. She slips and the box on the top almost falls off but the man comes to her rescue. After he leaves, Laura's husband, Greg, comes back and hands her a newspaper with the headline of an arson in Danton Island. As they're talking, Jamie slips from the edge of the deck and falls into the water. The man who helped Laura runs after him and saves Jamie. He introduces himself as Elliot and the parents thank him for his generous service. Later on, he gets invited to a family dinner where Laura stands aside with her best friend Mira and she talks about Elliot. She starts fancying his alluring body. After she leaves, they invite Elliot into the house to serve him dinner. At once, he looks at a painting that Laura made and he admires it to the fullest. Upon that, Laura reveals that she used to sell but Greg turned her studio into a workshed. Meanwhile, Greg is constantly talking with his assistant Hannah on the phone and passing flirty comments. Nevertheless, they sit on the table where Elliot offers them a deal to complete the renovation at family rates. Happily, they agree. The next day, Laura goes on a jog with Mira where they talk about how hot Elliot is and Mira admires Laura's luck. As she returns home, she catches a glimpse of Elliot standing shirtless in the yard. She goes down to meet him and as he's explaining the renovation, Laura couldn't keep her eyes off his perfect body. As he ends his explanation, Laura runs upstairs to get a shower. She prepares herself and as she gets in the shower cabin, Elliot silently passes in front of the room. Later that day, Laura goes to the supermarket to try out some shades for the kitchen and Elliot springs up behind her. He compliments her choice of design and then offers her a surprise. He makes her close her eyes and offers her a sip of juice and a bite of the delicious cannoli. He states that it's from a bakery called Delizier and that he used to go there with his mom whenever they were in town. Afterwards, they leave the store. Back at Laura's house, Mira comes in and witnesses Elliot working, once again shirtless. She's stunned by his perfection and begins to ask him questions about his living and girlfriends. He states that he has no girlfriend but has eyes on someone. With that, he leaves and Mira just gawks in intimidation. Later on, Laura accompanies Elliot to the boatyard where she goes to Greg's boat in order to check out if anyone tried to break in or not. After entering the boat, she lifts up the cushions to find purple panties of a girl underneath it. The reality dawns on her and she cries in frustration and grief. Elliot comes along and asks her what is wrong. There, she reveals about the panties she found on the boat. She suspects them to be Hannah's and she double-checks it by looking at her profile on a dating site. Upon finding them to be the same, she cries in exasperation so Elliot takes her to his own boat and offers her coffee. He consoles her and tells her that she must move on and find the next path that lay in front of her. After consoling her, he sees her outside and covers her with a blanket. With an exchange of smiles, they depart. In the meantime, Elliot cries in his boat while looking at her mother's pictures. The scene then shifts to Laura's side where she inquires Greg about his location last night. He states that he was at work and he called Hannah to take notes. Suspicions are confirmed in Laura's mind and when Greg tries to get close to him, she pushes him away. The following morning, Elliot arrives at the house and puts out all of his stuff for the renovation. Laura returns from the jog and finds Jamie conversing with Elliot. Seemingly, he's great with kids and Laura admires his quality. In the interim, she sends Jamie downstairs to go with Mira and Charlie, while making her way to the shower. As she enters the cabin, Elliot follows her into the bathroom and after undressing himself, he gets in the shower cabin. Under the ragged breaths, Laura lets Elliot take over her and they proceed with their makeout passionately. Afterwards, we see Laura at the boatyard where she witnesses various couples hugging each other. She walks to their boat to talk to her husband. Greg warmly welcomes her and talks about the teenagers these days and how they sneak into different boats. Laura listens in astonishment as she mentions the purple underwear and Greg reveals that it must be some of the teenagers who also left the flap open. Clearly disturbed and ashamed, Laura stares in shock as Greg hugs her and confesses his love. In the meantime, we see Elliot is playing with Jamie in the yard. Laura arrives there with Mira and gets out of the car. As she's on a side, Elliot talks to Jamie and offers him candy. In the interim, Laura returns and sends Jamie to play with Charlie, while taking Elliot to the back shed to explain that they must call this off. Elliot doesn't listen to her and starts seducing her. 
She complains for a while and tries to defend her feelings for Greg but eventually gives in to Elliot and proceeds with the romance. As the night falls in, Elliot sits in his boat and starts cutting out Greg's face from Laura's pictures. He replaces his face in those pictures and continues with his creepy work. The next morning, he arrives at the house and offers Laura yellow roses for her birthday while stating that he knows everything about her. Laura stares in perplexity as Elliot watches her creepily. Just then, Greg comes out as he's leaving for work and becomes surprised upon seeing yellow roses as they are Laura's favorite. Nevertheless, both the men leave for work. Extremely enraged, Laura dashes inside and scolds Elliot for doing this. She accepts her mistake for judging Greg and states that she can't do this any longer with Elliot. Eventually, she demands him to leave the house as she doesn't want him to work here anymore. As Laura rejects him completely, Elliot starts shivering in grief and the scene fades out. Up next, we see Laura returning home with Jamie and stating that there's no more Elliot but it turns out that he's still down there in the yard, stalking Laura. Afterwards, Laura is getting ready in her bathroom. She gets all dolled up and walks outside where Mira accompanies her. Just as they leave the porch, a whole group surprises her for the birthday party including Greg, Bill and many others. Laura thanks everyone and proceeds to kiss Greg, while Elliot watches in grief. In the meantime, Hannah arrives there and tells Laura how excited Greg was to plan all this. He had her work late just for the party. Upon that revelation, Laura just smiles. Intermediately, Greg takes Elliot and introduces him to Hannah who starts eyeing him seductively. In the meantime, Elliot constantly stares at Laura as Greg keeps her close. Being uncomfortable, Elliot excuses himself but the ladies go after him. Hannah sits with him and tries to talk to him but he gives minimal response, with his eyes constantly at Laura. After the party ends, Hannah runs up behind him and asks him to take her along. On the other hand, Laura lays in bed with Greg and tries to confess what she did with Elliot. But Greg stops her and states that she's amazing. He starts complimenting her and they end up close to each other. On the other hand, Elliot takes Hannah to the boat where she throws herself all over him. Despite his unwanted mood, they both become rough and make it to the bed where Hannah finds out that he's not even turned on. Exasperated, she gets up and is about to leave when she finds Laura's pictures on the wall. She stares in astonishment and calls Elliot a nutter which enrages him and he strangles Hannah from behind. The following morning, Laura is watering the yard when Greg comes along and adores her. Moreover, he states that whenever the sailing trip is over, they'll have time for themselves. As they're both kissing each other, Elliot is in the house and he watches them in sheer jealousy. After Greg leaves, Laura takes the hose to the shed where she finds it turned into an art studio with canvases all around. But to her horror, she sees, forever and ever, Laura plus Elliot true love, written everywhere. As she stares around in fright, she hears Jamie's screams and upon running inside, she finds him dropped to the floor. As she's checking on him, Jamie states that Elliot was here. In order to find him, Laura instantly runs outside and meets Elliot. She states that he must leave them and he must not do any more surprises for her. Elliot shows an obsessive behavior and keeps on saying that she and Greg are done. His continuous obsession turns into forceful behavior and threats. As he proceeds to hold her forcibly, Laura begins to scream. Just then, Jamie finds them struggling with each other so Elliot lets go of Laura. Following that, he leaves the house. Later that night, Laura searches the web and reads the reviews about Elliot's work. Amidst the list, she finds a disturbing comment from Purple Wallflower that Elliot destroyed her life. The next morning, Laura immediately leaves for Danton Island and goes to a shop. Upon entering, she talks to the owner and asks for Purple Wallflower. The shop owner tells her about a woman named Willie Hamill. After getting the address, Laura walks to her house and talks to the woman. After a bit of hesitation, Willie reveals that she lost everything because of Elliot. Her marriage, her family. Furthermore, she states that he's crazy. As an addition, she states that Laura must check on what he did to his own mother and with that, she closes the door in fear. Up next, the camera pans through the docks where a girl drops her necklace in the water. As she's flowing her hand through the water, a dead girl's head pops up in it and people scream in terror. The news of Hannah's death then appears on the TV and as Mira and Bill hear it, they try to call Greg. Unfortunately, before Greg can hear their call, Elliot springs up behind him and the scene fades out. The commotion causes Laura to wake up from her sleep. Fearing an anxiety, she picks up a baseball bat and walks downstairs where she constantly hears something breaking in the house. She comes across the living room where she finds the cannoli on a plate. Beneath it, she finds a window frame totally smashed. Meanwhile, we see that Elliot is slowly leaving the house in anguish. On the other hand, Greg wakes up in the boat while tied up with the pole. He frees himself and tries to run away but Elliot intervenes and hits him. Greg tries to put up a fight but Elliot ultimately knocks him down. In the interim, 
Laura talks with Mira and reflects her suspicions about Greg's disappearance. Furthermore, she reveals that she had an affair with Elliot and they did it twice. Mira gawks in astonishment as Laura further explains that Elliot is weirdly obsessive and is threatening her. Mira instantly requests her to be careful. Afterwards, Laura walks to Delizier Bakery and talks to the old woman at the counter. After ordering a tea and a cupcake, Laura witnesses a wall of memory, with picture frames. There, the old woman reveals about Elliot and how he used to come here with his mother since he was a kid. Unfortunately, his mother didn't have faithful husbands and therefore, Elliot himself lacked all that. But things took a worse turn when he burned down the whole house. Laura listens to the story in sheer horror and instantly gets up. But as she's leaving, the old woman reveals that Elliot came here in the morning, saying that he's going to marry a widowed wife and become a stepdad. Upon hearing the devastating threat, she instantly goes home where horror runs down her bones as Elliot welcomes her instead of Greg. Laura is astounded as she asks for Greg but Elliot starts terrorizing her like a crazy person and brutalizes her. Jamie comes in the midway but Elliot sends him back and later drags Laura upstairs. In the bedroom, he ties her up. But Laura uses her senses and develops a tactic to get free. She confesses her love for Elliot and states that she now realizes how much she's in love with him. With that, she makes him untie her and they both go down to have dinner. Downstairs, Jamie is tied to the chair and despite Elliot's craziness, Laura asks Jamie to eat and play along. Just then, Mira and Bill arrive outside and Laura tries to walk towards the window but Elliot finds out and forces mother and son to run upstairs immediately. In the bedroom, Elliot picks up Jamie and lets him go outside so that he can have some private time with Laura. Therefore, he starts getting close to her and begins to rape her. But as he pushes her onto the bed and gets on top, Jamie barges in through the door and right there, Elliot gets the same flashback from his own childhood where his mother was laying in the bed. That scene phases him out and Laura uses the opportunity to hit him and escape. After knocking him away, she runs downstairs and makes Jamie run away for his life. But as soon as he gets away, Elliot returns and fights with Laura. He throws her across the floor and bashes the hammer in her head, ultimately knocking everything out. As the night falls in, Elliot takes Laura's body to the boat, while wrapped in a sack. Laura instantly cuts the bag and escapes from the boat and comes face to face with Elliot. She stabs him in the stomach and runs away where she finds a trail of blood on the deck. Upon following it, she enters a boat to find Greg unconscious on the floor. Instantly, she calls for Coast Guard help but the lines are cut off. In the meantime, Elliot springs up on the boat and Laura hits him once again. Afterwards, she runs away while Elliot chases after her. The chase goes to a room upstairs where Elliot catches up to Laura and tries to strangle her. Luckily, she hits him back and ultimately throws him out of the window where he crashes down, hits his head and dies. In the final moments of the film, we witness that Laura's family is happily enjoying their life. Surprisingly, Laura finds a delizier cannoli in the fridge and it turns out that Greg brought it. They happily eat it and the film concludes. Thanks for watching guys.